Here we are again today. Today's video is gonna be short and sweet. There's only one thing that I need to do today. And it's not to step up onto the treadmill. No, there's only one thing. I wanted to do this for a very long time. All I'm going to do is show a quick and fast way of installing Netflix on your X22i, your X32i, your X11i, whichever Android-based Nordic Track or ProForm or whatever treadmill you have that has a console. You can even do this on your Peloton, okay? So there'll be different steps, but I'll be going through the steps for the Nordic Track. For Peloton users, you just need to get to a browser and then follow along. ProForm, you could do the same thing we're doing, I believe. But the main thing is getting to a browser and then uh, following along. So again, this is this is a combined video for Nordic Track users, for Peloton users, um, for anybody that has an Android-based machine. Okay. Now, of course, shout out to Nordic Track and their incline trainers because they're the only ones <clears throat> that can go from negative six to a 40% uh, percent incline. So props to them. And also they're the only ones that have the iFit that can actually control your, your treadmill, speed it up, make the incline go up and down. Basically it's like you're running with a trainer. So without further ado, first thing we will do is we need to get into privilege mode. To get into privilege mode, we tap 10 times on the screen and then we wait seven to eight seconds and then we tap again. It's called the 10 tap method. I wish there was a third T so it, it would be, it would sound cooler, but it's not, it's 10 tap method. Here we go, 10 taps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000, six, 1,000, seven, 1,000. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And set privilege mode to true. When you see that, you can either swipe up or down and you'll see three symbols, a triangle, a circle, and a square. There they are, triangle, circle, and a square. <clears throat> the triangle is to go back, the circle gets you to the desktop, the privileged Android desktop, and the square shows you all the windows that are currently running. Let's do this. <clears throat> Let's get back. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start a workout because I don't want to just sit around Okay, so, so bear with me as I go to manual, and I'm just going to walk, so you'll have to excuse the, the sound of the belt. I always try to get on the side before I start. Does anybody actually do a warm-up? And I'm just going to do two miles per hour, so I could walk while I'm doing this. So bear with me, the screen might be just a little bit bumpy, but if you hold on, I promise you, I'm going to show you how to install Netflix on your machine, and it's going to be sweet, fast and sweet. Here we go. First thing we do, since we've already gone into privilege mode, is we swipe up, go to the circle, which brings us to the desktop. <clears throat> this is your default desktop on your Nordic Track treadmills. Proform, I'm sorry, Proform I'm not sure about, and Peloton I'm not sure about either. So the Peloton folks, wait until I get to a browser. I'm going to hit those, that circle, and you'll notice, disregard is a lot of stuff I have on here, but the main thing is browser. We wanna to get to the browser. Well, before we get to the browser, we actually wanna to go to settings and security. And why? Because we wanna make sure that that right there, unknown sources, is turned on. And by default, it usually is turned on, but just in case, I want you to check, okay? Awesome. Swipe up. Let's go to our browser now. I'm gonna to try to keep this under 10 minutes. We're going to go and find Netflix. <clears throat> There's Netflix. We're going to press it. And we're going to log on. This is very, very simple very simple. You can have Netflix on your treadmill and watch and you could be binging on your favorite show while you're getting exercise instead of sitting on the sofa and binge eating some chips. I want you to sign in. So far everyone's with me? Great. 
Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. And I know most of you have already seen Tiger King. I mean, I'm not sure why I watched it, but I was suckered in and I watched all nine episodes and even came back for the 10th episode. Anyway, you can't watch Netflix from here. You have to install the app. That's just the way it is. So go to your name and then click on, you see where it says Help Center? Click on Help Center. When the Help Center comes up, you're going to search for something really easy. The letters A, P, and K. And then search. APK is the extension of a lot of the Android uh, install. Um, a lot of the Android install files. What does APK stand for? You know what, I don't, I don't remember. If you know, put it in the comment. So you're not going to do anything here, you're just gonna click read the article. And right in there it's going to say, click here to download the Netflix app. It's going to say starting download, you're done with your browser. Swipe up, go back to your desktop and find downloads. You're going to find downloads. And there it is. There's your Netflix APK. And if you don't see a percentage there, that means that it's actually already finished installed. And so we're just going to click it. And it's going to come up and say, Netflix, do you want to install this application? And you will say install. I will come back as soon as it's finished installing. All right, we're back. It shouldn't be that long, about 30 seconds, 45 seconds max. It says app installed. We're going to hit the done button. You know, it's great I'm doing all this while I'm walking on my treadmill. I'm going to swipe up and there's Netflix. You probably see some other things here, but for now let's concentrate on Netflix. We're going to start it and let's see if it works. Looks like it brings up an interface. Now there are later versions of Netflix that are out there on a lot of sites, but they don't work. This is an older uh, Android platform. If you want to go out there and search, there are other ways to download Netflix, but this is the tried and true way of watching Netflix on your treadmill. Sign in, be right back. All right, signing in, pick my user account, and voila, we are in Netflix. It's that simple. You wanna go for a run and watch TV, great. If you just wanna take a break from the iFit trainers, great too. You know, I love the iFit trainers. They're great and, they're, and I love the fact that they control my treadmill. But every now and then, I just wanna do a walk, relax, and watch a show. So we'll hit play and see if this works. And there you go. So I stopped, I stopped it because of copyright laws. I don't wanna be uh, dinged for playing something that uh, isn't mine. All right, I'm gonna try another one just in case. What's another show that you guys like? I know what you're asking for. Yep, I know you want it. You want Tiger King, here it is. Let's go, Tiger King. First episode. Let's hear Joe. And there he is. Unfortunately, he's in jail right now. He's not petting tigers. Yep, I don't know if he's laughing either. All right then, so that's how you install Netflix. Uh, to get out, you swipe up and go to your circle. Now, remember what I said about this, the square. This is actually a window. It shows all your windows, uh, basically all the, sh the uh, apps that you have running. You still have your iFit app, settings, your browser, your downloads, and your Netflix. So let's go ahead and clean it up. Let's go back to iFit. And sometimes it'll go back, but if you've been away for a while, it will uh, take some time. It will. It might reset. It might. It might come back right away. But as you can see, my treadmill keeps going. That doesn't stop. But that's to be expected. When 
Nordic Trek built these. And it says right there, unfortunately, I fit stop. Not a problem. Hit OK. Come back here. And we'll be going not to the iFit admin, but to the iFit program. And that will start iFit for us. And again, the great thing is it keeps all our stats. It keeps going. And you'll see this will go right back to my, to my um, workout. And as soon as that's that, we'll, uh, we'll close this video. One of my shortest videos. I just wanted to bring it to you short and sweet. How to load Netflix on your Nordic Track Incline Trainer, on your treadmill, on your Peloton tread, on your Peloton bike, on your Nordic Track S22i, on your Proform, whatever machine that you have that works with Android and that's currently hooked up so that you can use iFit or whatever. I personally like the Nordic Track machines because they're the only machines that can run iFit where it controls your treadmill, Peloton, and uh, it's, it's the best of both worlds. All right, and there you go. Let's go ahead and stop this. Pause. It really wasn't a workout, but at my age, it actually was a workout. Hooey. Just wanted to show you that everything still works. Let's go ahead and finish the workout. You can comment. And I'm back to the main screen. All right, if you like what you saw, comment below, give me a thumbs up, and as always, subscribe so that you'll know when I'm putting out new content. This was a, a quick, a short and sweet and dirty um, video on how to install Netflix on your treadmill or on your bike on whatever Android-based exercise machine you have. Hope you liked it. Hope you subscribe. We'll see you soon. That have children, what's the best way to for you have you found to uh, keep in shape and to keep motivated? How do you find it? How do you find it? I did have a question today. Somebody asked, hey, my, my screen doesn't tilt like this. See how my screen tilts? They were saying their screen doesn't tilt. If you look right here, this here, you gotta get one of your hex uh, screws, uh, hex uh, uh, screwdrivers that came with the machine and turn it counterclockwise. Counterclockwise, they will loosen this. When mine came, this thing was so tight, I could not move it. And when I put my hex uh, uh, screwdriver in there and I had to turn it counterclockwise, it took almost all my force. I thought I was gonna break it, but eventually it's, it almost snapped out of uh, whatever locked, frozen condition it was. And now my, as you can tell, my console moves, okay? And someone said there was one on the other side, which to be honest, I don't know, let's see. There is, holy moly. You know what, I've had this machine two years. Two years, and I've learned there are several things on this right side that I didn't know about. So there is another one here, which I've never messed with, and there's some sort of jack right there. I'm thinking that's an audio jack. Is there anything else here? I don't think so. Anything on here? No. Okay.